back one with some daylight and we're gonna get to cleaning the mess we left behind the last time and then get the ladder out and uh, start chiseling the mortar up high. I have a question, Nathan. Shoot. Uh, where is the orange jacket? <laughs> <laughs> it's taking a much needed rest. Hey Nate. Hey. Where are you? I'm in the, the back of the house on the first floor. So we decided to dig an indoor pool. <laughs> That's the city pool. So we literally have like what? 30 centimeters of water? Yeah. So basically we started digging, well, first of all, to do our waste pipes to our new septic tank. Mm -hmm. But also we had to dig down to uh, pour our new slab because they just put um, tiles or whatever flooring directly on top of the earth. There was a lot of moisture coming up through the floor. So we had to dig down and we're going to fill it up with 30 centimeters or 20 centimeters of stones and 5 to 10 centimeters of sand. How do we call that, uh, those two layers in French? In lunch, uh, uh, French. <laughs> You're thinking about lunch? In French, we call it uh, hérisson, and I think in English it's just a uh, sublayer. Yeah, but what does hérisson mean layer. in English? I uh, mean hedgehog. Do you know why? Well, uh, I read that online, of course. So, okay. but do you know why we call that a hedgehog? Why do we call it a hedgehog? Oh, you don't know? You didn't no. read it for yeah. real? Okay, so they call that a hedgehog because back in the days they used to stack like the stones like with the pointing part up so it would create like a tick 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 tick, tick like a porcupine uh so they call that a hedgehog interesting yes we're gonna so we're gonna drain the water and then fill it on with stones and then uh once we get a few dry days in a row which hasn't been a lot recently um we won't get this level of flooding and we'll be able to finish digging it out and finishing the sub slab and then eventually uh, put our vapor barrier down and do a real concrete slab. Would you say this region is the Seattle of France? Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> we trade four months of snow in Ohio for four months of rain here. We put it in the electrical conduit tubing that actually <laughs> We put um, going all the way to the end of the property where the drain is. 
Yes. So we don't like flood our property. Yeah, so we don't put the water back in the ground and it just seeps back towards us directly. Okay, perfect. How long it takes to empty the water? Ooh, five minutes. Five minutes? No more water. Uh, a little bit there, but no big deal, right? No big deal. So what are we going to do now? Is that a joke? What are water? Are we going to do now? No. Water? Are we going to? What are we going to do now? What are we going to? I didn't even understand that I made a joke. A pun. <laughs> I made a pun. Okay. What are we going to do now? Oh, but that was really like, uh, how do we say? No pun. No pun intended. Uh, that was really not intended. Okay, so now we're in our backyard and um, we got some leftover stones that we used for doing the slab on the part of the back of the house. Good stones. We paid for those. <laughs> yeah, we paid for, it, for this to be delivered. It used to be a big mountain. We used it to cover uh, 20 to 25 centimeters all along the back. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna rake up what's left over and reuse it for the other side. Nathan, are you looking forward to remove all the mortar on these walls? Oh, I can't wait, it's so ugly. Yeah, it is. That's gonna look pretty. So we kind of had the same problem on the other side of the house. When we dug, uh, this is about one meter below ground level, um, a little bit more than three feet below ground level. And uh, on our property, we had a study of the groundwater and we hit groundwater at 30 to 40 centimeters down. And this is a meter down, so more than the double. So once we add the rocks, you basically don't see the water anymore. All right, so we finished uh, getting off that top mortar coat off the entire wall from floor to the roof. I was gonna say floor to ceiling, but we don't have ceilings. <laughs> it's a floor roof. And also got done with uh, this half of the wall here. We just have a little bit left to do the top over here and top along the other side. After uh, we, we need to get through uh, chiseling more like in between the cracks and we haven't decided yet how we're going to clean it. If we're only going to do a wire brush and vacuum or if we want to sandblast it. If we sandblast it, it gives it like a way better finish. Um, but it's also a lot messier and costs more money to get a compressor and everything. <laughs> to 
next time. Till next time.